I like to invest in uh, entrepreneurs that have this infectious enthusiasm, and so it starts with the people, people like Elon Musk who can convince you that whatever it is they're working on is gonna work. <laughs> and usually it has to be at some sector of the economy that we feel is gonna experience rapid growth that's in a period of massive disruptive change. And so that used to be, you know, software and semiconductors and biotech in the 90s. And then it's really morphed today. It's a wide range of industries from synthetic biology to rockets and electric cars and a variety of sectors that frankly were not really ripe for venture investment throughout the prior decades, but now are becoming software businesses. And as they do, we're finding they're going through profound change. And whenever there's profound change, that's great for startups. And by only investing in things that are unlike anything I've seen before, by definition, has me always searching outward from a comfortable core for something new, something different. And that tends to also correlate, I believe, with those crazy ideas that actually do change the world. Because the ones that succeed dramatically we're never uniformly considered good ideas at their onset. If a few people are passionately think it's the future and a large number of people think it's absolutely harebrained and will never work, that's a good sign. I also try to find um, a set of attributes in people that might be somewhat similar to what I look for in the team at work, which is a sort of enough self-confidence that they can be humble in, in what they're proposing, a, a, a um, respect for team over individuals, as opposed to a cult of a single CEO running the company.